Hi, so today I'm going to be talking calculators. So these are two of the most common calculators that you'll find if you're working on GCSE uh, or anything before GCSE and you've got a scientific calculator. Chances are you'll have this one here, the Casio FX85. You might have the 83, that's basically the same as the 85 but without the solar panel. Or if you're working uh, on A level, you're likely to have the FX991. Uh, the main thing about them is that the features and the buttons are in the same place. So for what I'm going to do today, it doesn't matter which of these you've got. But if you've got a Casio scientific calculator, uh, this is going to be helpful. Right, so often, I've got the, the A level version here. Uh, so often people will come to me and they'll say, right, when I type in... Uh, a calculation, so 1 divided by 2, I get an answer as a fraction, but I'm expecting it to be a decimal. What can I do? Well, the simple quick solution is to use this button here, this S to D. Turns it from standard format fractions into decimals. And then back again. There you go. So, solved. Okay, But you might want it to default to decimals. So instead of having to press the SD button every time, it'll just show up as a decimal. And if you want to do that, you need to use your setup menu. So to get to the setup, we need to press shift and then that button. Uh, and we want number one, input output. And then we want to select number two, which is maths in decimal out. So now, if I do the same calculation, 1 divided by 2, I get 0 0.5. And if I press the SD, now I can get it showing as a fraction. So it's the same sort of thing, it just means it defaults to the decimal instead of the fraction. Now, you might have seen, if I go back to the setup and the input output, that there's a few other options. So the second, uh, the first option is the default. So that's what we had at the beginning. That's where your answer will be as a fraction. And we saw that the second option was showing it as a decimal. Now these two, where we've got line in, line out or decimal out, what these are doing are, they're similar to the first two, but they show you a history of your calculations. So if I pick number four, so this is gonna give me my answer as a decimal, okay? But you'll note, instead of being at the bottom of the screen, it's put it up here. And the reason for that is that if I now do another calculation, so 3 divided by 3, I've now got my latest answer at the bottom. And it's just going to scroll the screen. So if I do, I don't know, 4 times 5, 20. But I prefer to keep mine on option 2, which just means whenever I type something in, I get my answer as a decimal. And I know that if I want to see it as a fraction, I just need to press that button there. And that's it for today. Thank you.